Ready? Yep. Hi, fifth grade. It's Miss Soldner back with you. Um, I'm coming to you right now from a place called Fort Bedford. Fort Bedford is um, one of the forts that was built back in 1758 um, whenever uh, they were building Forbes Trail. Um, John Forbes was actually tasked with building, you know, a line of forts, um, and this was one of those forts. A man named um, Colonel Henry Bouquet, um, he was the actual um, officer who was in charge of the building of this fort. Um, it's actually a star shape uh, structure, which you can't really tell from here, um, and I think that they've since added maybe onto the fort a little bit. We're kind of in the back of the fort right now, um, but it's it's pretty cool. You can see the old logs, the old wooden logs that um, go across there. You can see the very tiny windows, um, which I think probably some of those have been replaced, but um, you can definitely see that, you know, it's an old, old building. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, there's a, a legend among town here that there were tunnels, um, and I think they've actually located some of the tunnels according to, you know, some of the some of the uh, historians here in town. But there were tunnels supposedly connecting this fort to some different areas downtown, and the reason for that was, you know, this was designed to protect the supplies, you know, um, of the of the British, and so they had you know, allegedly they had some places downtown that connected to the fort through underground tunnels and they would store some of their weaponry and things in those places so that if this fort would come under attack by, you know, the French or some of the Native Americans that were working with the French, um, you know, they would be able to get their troops underground through the tunnels and get them safely to um, those places where they had some other uh, ammunition and things stored so you know there's a lot of lot of neat things you can you can learn um, if you look right behind where we are um, up on the top of the hill there is a looks like an observatory of some kind and we are actually wondering if somehow that might be where the tunnels might have might have come in from downtown because right behind that is where downtown Bedford stands today so um, and then behind this building which is actually the front of the building is a um, you can see the the Juniata River flowing through there so um, it's pretty cool if you get a chance when this um, you know all ends and we're allowed to be back out and about you know you can actually come visit the Fort Bedford Museum um, and you can walk through and check out some different exhibits from that time period here in Bedford and you can learn a lot more about Fort Bedford so we hope you get a chance to do that um, for now, you know, if you get a chance to take a little trip out this way, um, come down near the river and it's definitely a cool place to check out. See you next time, fifth grade.